have 13 countries coming together to solve case studies and we're dealing with very contemporary, very complex uh, topics that are going to challenge our students um, when they go into the, to the real world. We're able to work on audit case studies, then move on to uh, corporate governance, but also touch on tax advisory and finally um, technology. So we're able to really have a wide range of opinions which are developed across this week and touch on a lot of different subjects with other students that themselves have different opinions as well. Our case study is about digitalization. Well, digitalization today is a huge trend, it's a mega topic. Everybody needs skills in these areas, so we also need skills in the accounting, in the auditing profession, which is also undergoing a huge, tremendous change. Well, the case study I am particularly responsible for was the financial instruments. Our main aim was try to bring it closer to them, not just pure learning, but basically give them cases when they can see that the whole, how does the whole thing work. Give them calculations, give them thinking type of questions, and try to make them work together and struggle out something, what we call a solution. There's a massive difference to just stand, sitting in a lecture theatre being told what you need to know, and the particular techniques we've been using, which is getting students to do a lot of um, prep work and thinking and exploring problems. Um, it's easier to remember something if you've actually had to work through it in a context. So you've got a particular problem that you're trying to work out and not just trying to remember XYZ tax principle. I think we've had um, 1,800 students engaging in the ISPs over those 25 years. I would say in 1994 it was extremely very unique. Even nowadays it's something that you cannot just simply achieve by going to university. You get in exposure to international environment and very, very up-to-date topics. Something like this doesn't happen without the high level of collaboration and we're very, very fortunate in the partners we actually have. I think it's hugely beneficial already. We're seeing quite a lot of interaction between the students, so just talking to people with different experiences from different countries is, is valuable. It's really something that's very engaging and you're able to develop a wide array of points of views and touch on subjects which you usually wouldn't touch on in lectures because it's something that's very deep or for sometimes in certain case studies, something that's pretty niche and that you wouldn't touch on in your usual degree, be it a master's or a bachelor's degree. Every case study, everything, every academic, the presentations, it was amazingly interesting, actually learning, and it doesn't teach you everything in one go, but it uh, gets the discussion going. It's enough to stimulate that thoughts in your mind that this is what the world is moving towards and maybe I need to explore more and I need to learn if I need to keep up with the pace. I think it's just um, really interesting to look out of the box, you know, when you're going for a new job or something after university. Problem solving, communication, presentation, teamwork, listening, debating. These are the skills that employers are looking for nowadays. Increasingly you get customers from the internet, via the internet, wanting to buy things and they're in completely different countries and that raises tax questions and the more that um, advisors can be educated, both from an undergraduate level and upwards on just the fact that there are differences, even if they don't know what the specific difference is, knowing that there is something they need to find out and get more information about will make them more useful to their clients. This is one of the most fun way of learning accounting and learning something useful.